Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. If somebody's needing some help doing this where the letters look like they've got some items around, he actually did this with a racer tool. This is a great way to send me a file. Uh, he sent me a file of the, he sent me a picture of the printed that he raced and it's uh, pretty rough. The, the edges are rough because it's a printing, but he actually showed me the arrows where he wanted to go. So I made a copy of it and I've already done it. So this is what it's going to look like on a black t-shirt. And if that's what he wanted, I'm pretty sure. So let's take away these arrows. And all you have to do to do this, this thing is less than six, so let's nudge it down. And let's take both of them, and let's left click, right click. Now all you have to do is take this one and go to effects, contour, and just contour it to the outside. And I'm gonna start with 0.15, and that's perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to object and break the contour apart, even though you probably don't even have to in this situation. But we're gonna grab it all and put it up. Now in this case, he's gonna want, let me move this out of the way. He's doing it in white. I'm gonna do it in black so you can see, and I'm gonna nudge it over as I'm doing it. So I'm gonna take the Smart Fill tool, I'm gonna to fill that in black, move it over, fill that in with black, fill all the spots in with black and move them over. Now you have that item where, and I might've gone too much. And, but this way you don't have any lines in your drawing. And if we put in the yellow box trick, and his is set on yellow, or, my, or the last person I used, or his is set on red, order back a page, that's what you're gonna get. So to make this look right, all you'd have to do is uh, fill this in with white. But I, I'm afraid it's gonna fill in the, the gaps also. So we're gonna click on every individual piece and make it white. And as a printer, you're gonna to wanna to use whatever white you use. I think I'm using um, RGB right now. Then take a black t-shirt, make it black, go to effects, or go to, excuse me, object, order, back a page. And then you can see the line, so we need to make sure that you select it all and right click no lines. Well, that's actually a fusion between the two. So what we can do to get rid of those lines, especially for a printer, I think it'd be pretty important. Let's uh, move that out of the way and grab everything and go to object and combine it. Now when we get it over, those lines are gone because we um, fused them together, basically. Combined them so there's no line. So now this should be perfect. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.